ready to run. Crowd waits in anticipation. The cup field is right. There they go. They're off in the Beldaring Cup. Slowing to stride was Graham Morango. Likewise, Miss Isolation and King and King. They are on the back foot early doors. Breaking well at the head of affairs was Calypso Litch, who is going to lead them. Hanmar Springs is going to be right there. On the march is Helen's boy out wide on the track. And then came See It All, who's over on the inside. Charlie's Tin and the All White Colours is up there as well. OY is midfield. Miss Isolation. Stable mate, the outside Majestic Missile. Two or three lengths further back to King and King. And last of all in the race was Graham Morango. In this order, they run into the back in the Beldarian Cup. A thousand metres left to go. Calypso Rich has got them playing his game in front. He's the lamplighter, a length and a half clear. In second spot was Helen's boy. Then Hanmar Springs looking for a hat trick of wins in third placing inside the 800. Then came Charlie's 10. One out, one back, and's had a run you'd dream of. OY was next. Then came Came last year's winner who is see it all who's over on the inside miss isolation creeps up on the inner then came majestic missile second to last was Graham morango and king and kenny's going to have to come from the tail end of the field calypso riches led them a merry dance 500 meters left to go in the cup it leads starting to come on now was charlie's tinley outside oh why then came see it all who's into pursuit hanmar springs took the shortcuts home and gets up on the inside they run for cup glory hanmar springs got up on the fence and went running for home. Oh, wise running the race of his life. Then came see it all wide around. But Hanmar Springs, he's off and gone with the cup prize. And Hanmar Springs, dominant as you like in the Beldarian Cup, goes on and beats Photo, either see it all or oh, why, who ran out of his skin. Miss Isolation, then followed next to Calypso Rich, who led them up. Next over was Charlie's Tin, King and King, Graham Morango, Helen's boy, Majestic Missile was last. Marie Melody Pomeray has herself back-to-back -back Belnaring Cup wins. She is the queen of Belnaring. She won it last year on See It All, and she has ridden Hanmar Springs to perfection. For Mark Stevenson, this horse has now registered a hat-trick of wins. He was a maiden at the start of this preparation and he is now crowned a cup winner. 12 will win a photo for the minor spot. With the numbers to come to hand in the Beldaring Cup. There is no element of doubt about the winner, Hanmar Springs. It has won in a trot. Marie took the sit off the speed. They went at a good clip. She got the saloon passage through on the inside and it was obvious turning homeward bound. She had the race parceled up and in her keeping they were only running for minor numbers behind. Well done to Mark Stevenson and the second emergency who only gained a run this morning will lift the Belnaring Cup aloft. 12, 3, 4 and 14. 12, 3, 4 and 14 in the cup. 3 and 3 quarter lengths. It has absolutely trotted in by a short half head. And 137.80 the overall time. 137.80 they've clocked for the mile in the OTI racing on Bloodstock Belnaring Cup. Hanmar Springs on the quick backup from Camper Down last weekend. Raced a matter of five days ago. He's just a wonder with these horses, Mark Stevenson. He's had a day out. He's got himself a race to race double with Stirrup taking the previous race. And she's a mare who has continued on her winning ways today. And Marie Melody Pomeray has made it back-to-back -back Belnaring Cup wins with a 10 out of 10 ride. Here's the winner coming back towards scale. 
Marie knows what this is all about. She's he been here and done it last year on See It All. As she comes up the straight with the clerk of the course, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your OTI Racing and Bloodstock Belnaring Cup winner. It is Hanmar Springs, Maria Melody Pomeray with her second Belnaring Cup in as many years. Trained by Mark Stevenson at Mornington. She's a five-year-old mare who's made it three wins on the bounce. And she was way too good for them today. Three and three quarter lengths, the winning margin. She has absolutely trounced her rivals. She has done so ahead of three. OY, who's run the race of his life for Monica Sid and Sophie Clayfield. What a big buzz for Sophie in her young riding career. Third over the line was four. See it all last year's winner. He was game as ever for Mel Watson, Mel McDonald. Fourth, he went the way of 14. Miss Isolation, 12, 3, 4 and 14. Three and three quarter lengths by a short half head. 137.80 the overall time. But Mark Stevenson has himself a race to race double. Marie Melody Pomeray has herself back-to-back -back OTI Racing on Bloodstock, Belnaring Cups.